Hello traders, FS Pepcolette here. Today is Wednesday, June 5th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Aussie dollar, I still think this is three waves up for W, three waves down for X, and I think we're making a three way pattern up for an A, a B, and a C of wave Y, which I still think is going to most likely take it up and take out the high of the wave W and the previous wave four. So taking a look at it on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still think this is the end of an ABC right here. This is an A, this is a W, X, Y, a B, and I think this is a one of C. I think this is an ABC, two of C. I think we're already in that wave three of wave C, which is probably on these higher time frames, going to continue to make higher highs and higher lows. So taking a look at it on the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I definitely think this is the end of a crescent right here. And as you can see, we basically are still making higher highs, higher lows. Does kind of look like possibly it could go down a little bit more before it goes up, but I definitely think the trend is up, and I definitely am primarily still looking for longs. I still think this is all just subdivisions of a 1, a 2, and they're now in subdivisions of a wave 3. So taking it down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, like I said, this right here definitely looks like a downtrend, probably a wave A. This definitely looks like 1, 2, 3 waves up, probably a wave B. You would think that we would now probably be going down for a wave C, which most likely will take it down below these lows before we actually do continue the uptrend. And like I said, probably all subdivisions of a wave 3 on the higher time frames. So taking it down to the 1 hour time frame. Most likely, I think you need to continue to look for sorts because this definitely looks like a downtrend. It may even be a wave 1 of a wave C. Definitely looks like 3 waves up, probably a wave 2. I think this is more likely to go down and at least take out the low of wave B back here and possibly the low of wave A too, eventually making a wave 3, a wave 4, and a wave 5. Once you finally do get that big break of starts to the upside, that most likely would be the end of a wave C, and it most likely would be a really good entry to go long for the continuation of this bigger uptrend on like the daily, weekly, and monthly. But until you get like a 3, 4, 5 say for the break of structure, I think that you should probably still be looking for sorts on the one hour time frame and below. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my daily live trading sessions and access to my swing trade setups. As always, thank you and happy trading.